Welcome back to m and Ambassadors, Becoming the USP, the Ultimate Sales Professional. Now, in my previous video, we talked about four points to keep in mind when you're making a presentation, whether you do it on the sales floor, a show unit, or in an actual community. Today, I want to give you four more tips to keep in mind when you're making the presentation. Now, the fifth one that I'd like to talk about is present USPs rather than just benefits. I know we talked about presenting benefits rather than features, and that's absolutely correct. But if you can identify what are the USPs, the unique selling points, these are more powerful when you present. And why? Firstly, if you want to hold your ground on the price that you're asking for, you have to be able to show why this product actually demands such a price. In which case, you need to be able to separate it from similar units in that community so that people cannot compare you with the other unit and start to negotiate the price downwards. Most buyers, particularly the investors, are logical lateral buyers. What this means is they will compare, they are lateral. When you are showing them a particular project, they are in their mind already scanning the horizon to see which other opportunity will give them the same thing. Now they like what you're presenting, but because you're only presenting maybe a benefit, they will turn around and say, I can get the same in the other community. So what they're doing is negotiating you downwards. They will take some leverage on that. But if they scan the horizon, if you have used an USP and they scan the horizon and they cannot find another community or tower that gives them that, now your price stands. So that is your responsibility to find out what are the real USPs, not just benefits of the property that you are trying to sell. Another point to keep in mind is to use a third party approach. Now, the third party approach is where you bring the strength of the community and the confidence of other buyers or sellers into the picture. You see, when you are talking to the buyer, you're in a sales role. I might not be fully convinced about you or I may not necessarily believe what you're trying to tell me. So the safest way to present is to bring third party into it. Here's an example how you would do it. The reason why so many investors are buying in this community is. That's the language which we call third party. Most of the families that are coming into this kind of a community are doing so because of one, two, and three. You see, with third party, you introduce someone whom he trusts, buyers, sellers, families. And if you personalize it, it becomes even more powerful. So here's how you personalize it. The reason why so many families Families like yours are considering this community is one, two, three. Just associate it with them. The reason why so many investors, people like you, are considering this is one, two, and three. That's how you bring third party. I've also noticed from experience, when you use a word like our, it brings more strength into your presentation. It takes it much bigger than you. Our communities sell out because of one, two, three, rather than this community is selling out because of one to our. Our clients buy from us because of one, two, and three. So third party bringing in the group groups will remove you as an individual from the picture and bring a lot more credibility to when you present. Now, another point, we did talk about the USPs being more powerful than the benefits, and they are, no question about it. So what do you do if you have a tower, but you cannot really find a standout distinct USP? It has a lot of benefits. It's giving a good lifestyle, a good investment opportunity, but it doesn't have its own unique selling point. So in this case, you go associative in a qualitative manner. Associative in quality. How do you do that? So if I know that what I'm presenting is only a benefit, and I don't want the client turning around and telling me I can get this from the other tower. The way I would present it is I would say like all premium towers in this community, this one also gives you. So that is how you would present it. Like all premium communities in Dubai land, this community also gives you. So now they cannot scan the horizon and tell you, but I can get this in the other community. That's exactly what I said. 
like all the premium communities here, our community also gives you 1, 2 and 3. Remember to use this associative approach when you are presenting benefits. If it's a USP, just go for it because you know that you have something that is unique. Now, on one more point that I would like to make on this video before I close, or actually I don't want to make this a very long video, I've already given you enough to think about in this video. I would suggest that the previous video, the four points and the three points in this video, go over them a few times, internalize it, understand what exactly we're trying to do here, and you'll be able to go out and make more powerful presentations. I'll see you on the next episode with some more points of M&A Ambassadors Becoming the USP, the Ultimate Sales Professional.